All right, guys, so it is Sunday morning. Um, it's around 9 o'clock. Um, I just finished the super green uh, smoothie, so I'm going to taste it on camera for you guys. It is a thick shake. You could use extra water if you wanted to water it down, but um, the color is very green. The only thing that I was that's in there that I was a little bit hesitant was the avocado, but I'm hoping you can't taste it, but we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's actually like, I would make this like every morning. Um, if you like pineapple, the pineapple and mint are the two things that you can only taste. Um, you can't taste the spinach, you can't taste the avocado. Uh, yeah, it's actually really nice. So I would totally make this again. I'm going to go and enjoy the whole thing. And um, it does make just one serving, so if you're going to, you know, share with somebody, if you're making the full meal plan, that's usually four servings, you'll have to double it or something like that, which is good because who wants to drink smoothie that sat in the fridge for three days? It's, that's kind of gross. But um, I will see you guys at lunch for the next thing, but um, the super green smoothie was a win. I like this more than the V8. The V8 was more vegetable-y. This definitely has some fruit, so it's a little bit nicer, uh, but don't be afraid of the color. But yeah, and I think I have to check, um, let me go check how many points we get for this. Okay, so the Super Green Smoothie is on page 216, and let's see, it says you can check off six of the Daily Dozen scorecard bull boxes. So you get six, that's a lot, so I feel like that's a good amount. So you get other fruits, greens, other vegetables, nuts and seeds, herb and spices, and beverages um, because you are putting in like that water, so that's why that counts. But yeah, and it says it's easy for the difficulty, which I did find it really easy, you just throw it in, I have a Vitamix, so it works pretty well. And yeah, so I would, I will definitely be making this in the future. I'm sure you could switch out like the fruit too if you um, didn't have pineapple, but I just got some at Trader Joe's yesterday. But overall, I feel like this is another winner. Like I haven't really had anything on this in this cookbook that I really haven't liked. So what you know, the person who has made the recipes with Dr. Greger really knew what knew what he or she was doing. So. Yeah, see you guys at lunch. <laughs>I just got finished making our black bean salad which you saw in the previous clip and it looks really good it is very colorful it was really easy to put together and interested to see how it'll taste um, so I just 
pretty much divvied out what I thought would be one fourth of the bowl and we will see how it goes together so I'm gonna show you guys I like it I was a little nervous for the dresser because lime is one of those things that's like super overpowering but it is nice in us I would probably make the healthy um, salsa I mean you put it on this because it does kind of have like a more of a Mexican themed with the lime um, and avocado and everything so we put some salsa on this is my only recommendation but yeah I really like all the colors the avocado is really nice on it I will be enjoying this without you know making a face or um, not wanting to make it again for the next days so I just saved all of my chopped ingredients in the fridge so then I can just make a fresh salad um, tomorrow when I want to eat this for lunch and I got a couple questions about do I eat um, what do I do with leftovers well I just eat them for the next three days so I will have food you know for for the next so today's um, Sunday I'll have it all the way until Wednesday and and um, makes it really easy for the work week for me to kind of meal prep like this so really all you need to do is pick two days on the meal plan and then you'd have food for the entire week as long as you don't mind about leftovers um, but this overall I think is really good um, I would maybe try it with one of the other dressings that he has for the salads but I like this I think it just needs maybe like a little bit of salsa that's probably why he um, put in here put the healthy hot sauce but I just I didn't make it so um, I could see so maybe make the healthy hot sauce don't skip out on that as optional um, or do the do the salsa recipe from here but overall I think it's a really nice way again I'm not a real big like I like getting beans in when I incorporate them and I can't really taste them as much and this is a good meal for for that so I'll see you guys for the second part of lunch there is two parts for lunch and two parts for dinner today and I'll check back in with you guys how that is but I'm gonna go eat all of the colors <laughs> it's one o'clock and I just finished the pumpkin seed dip I'm gonna put on the screen what you get for this but um, it turned out really nice and smooth makes quite a lot so I'm gonna try this for you guys with just a carrot I cut up yeah it's really good I could totally see myself sitting down and snacking on this like while watching a movie or um during like football game or something it you can't really taste the beans um you can taste a little bit of the pumpkin but I taste more of the spices that are in it and it's just like a nice creamy dip so I would definitely be making this again um it was easy I just threw it all in my food processor and blend it put a little bit of water to help it and yeah so I'm going to cut up maybe some peppers with it, um, carrots, maybe some celery, but I will definitely be making this again, and you guys should try it too. If you've tried this, let me know down below. It's pretty easy to make. It only took a little bit of time. The most time it takes um, to kind of toast your pumpkin seeds, but overall, and you can't really you can't taste garlic, 
nothing has like a really harsh taste it's like a really safe and mild mild dip but i will see you guys for dinner i'm gonna go enjoy some of these um it's a really nice day right now in pittsburgh so we're gonna go out for a little bit and then i'll be back later on tonight to make dinner and then there's there is a dessert tonight as well so i'll see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, it is dinner time. I am getting ready to try, I just finished my workout, but I'm getting ready to try the portobello, stuffed portobellos with herbed mushroom gravy. Um, I do not like mushrooms, so we're gonna try this, try this out. Um, it's really soft to cut into, so that's good. So we will see, but looks really hot it's still kind of steamy but yeah overall I would say this I felt was like a little more difficult just because there's there was a lot more ingredients and you have to make the stuffing and then the gravy but um, I also felt like it made a lot more stuffing maybe because my portobellos were on the smaller side um, so I have stuffing left over so I might if I like this buy more portobellos for the week but let's try Yeah, for somebody who doesn't really like mushrooms, I could eat this. Um, the stuffing is mainly the main taste. It's just like the texture of the portobello at the bottom, but it's really soft. It just has that mushroom texture. But <clears throat> I would, I would eat this again. The stuffing is really good in this. But um, overall, I'd give this like maybe a 6.5 out of 10, um, just because I'm not a, a mushroom fan. And this is such a heavy mushroom, um, like the gravy has mushrooms in it and the or main dish is a mushroom. Um, but if you love mushrooms, then I think you would be like super excited for this. And I will have to think of another way to use the stuffing. Um, just because, yeah, sorry, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. But I'll be back in a little bit to show you guys. There's a second part for dinner. There's like a purple cabbage. And I have a feeling, there's mushrooms in that too, but um, I have a feeling I'll, I'll enjoy that because I really do like that. Um, there's a sauce on it that I've already had before that's really good. But I'll be back in a little bit to show you, but I'm still going to sit here and eat this and um, have it throughout the week. Maybe I will, you know, discover a love of mushrooms for having them, but overall it's still, it's still good. So um, definitely give it a try. If you are afraid of mushrooms, still try it. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Bye.
just got finished baking my apple crumble baked apple crumbles from the cookbook and I did it a little bit different I didn't do all of them in a fancy little apple I did some of them on just chopped up um, which I think is a good alternative because it turned out really 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 pretty for the one but um, I really don't care about how it looks at the end so I just chopped them up and then I'll save it for tomorrow and I might share some with my husband um, because it just smells so incredible even our dog is like sniffing around so it's really hot that's why my cheeks are red right now but um, I already know this is gonna be good how can you really go wrong with all of that ingredients that were on there so I'm just waiting for it to cool down and I will let you guys know how it is but if you did like this we're coming to the end of day four um, give me a thumbs up subscribe let me know in the comments um, if you liked it or if you tried any of these I really like hearing hearing what you guys think um, I'm thinking about doing maybe a possible live Q&A because I got so many questions for that giveaway that I won't be able to answer all of them. So if you're interested in like a scheduled live Q&A on um, YouTube, let me know. But here, let me try this. Yeah, it's like a warm, it's like a warm apple pie. I just, yeah. The crumble is like so good. And that date syrup adds like a little bit of extra sweetness to it. Yeah, you just really, I don't know, can't go wrong with this. So I would definitely be making this. You could probably make this kind of like a, instead of like a, like a berry crumble, you could do like an apple crumble. And um, I did put some cinnamon. I don't know if I showed that in there. There was cinnamon in the recipe, but it tastes so good and would be such a hit at any party you go to. So you could make it really cute and do like the fancy little apples, like the recipe, or you can cut it up. Um, maybe like cut it up and layer it would be really awesome to take to like a party or something like that I think that's what I'm gonna do but yeah I'm gonna go enjoy this day four was so good again I haven't found even those like portobellas I said they were like a 6.5 but then I ate two of them so they couldn't have been that bad because um, I just found myself like wanting to keep eating the stuffing the stuffing is not that good without the gravy so yeah, even though it had like a mushroomy flavor, I still really like that. So overall, I would say day four is a win. I am so excited for day five. I think there's French toast for the breakfast. <laughs> and yeah, follow along, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.